You will never be able to gain the knowledge if you are arrogant. Um, SubhanAllah, I used to see the Shaykh Al-Albani. I haven't seen him listening to somebody who's more knowledgeable than him because I'm not old enough, but I've seen him sitting in front of somebody who is much, much less knowledge in, than him. He is listening to those people even though he is much knowledgeable than them. Rahimallahu Shaykh, Rahimallahu Ulama. Right, here also the knowledge, it will lift you and elevate you, not just in the dunya, but in the grave and in the hereafter. You see, as in the dunya, the Prophet ﷺ, he said, إِنَّ اللَّهَ يَرْفَعُ بِهَذَا الْكِتَابِ أَقْوَامًا وَيَضَعُ بِهِ آخَرِينَ Allah, with this book, He would put people up. And with this book, that means that the people, if they uh, ignore the book and neglect it, then Allah will humiliate them. SubhanAllah. This hadith was used by Umar al-Khattab when he went in the Hajj season and he met Al-Harith ibn Al-Harith or Abdul Nafi ibn Abdul Harith and he was a person who was being assigned by him to be the mayor of Mecca. So he said to him, whom did you appoint as a person in charge of Usfan, which is part of Mecca? And this is a valley in Mecca. So he said, Ibn Abza. He said, who is Ibn Abza? Ibn Rahman Ibn Abza is the one who is the most knowledgeable in the Quran. And he is the most knowledgeable regarding the inheritance law. And he is a slave, has been set free. He said, you appointed somebody who has been a slave to go and lead? He said, verily, he's the most knowledgeable in the Quran. So he said, verily, the Prophet said, he said, Allah elevates with this book, people. And with this book, also he put them down if they neglected. Meaning, and this person, even though that he was a slave, what made him to be appointed to be the leader there is because of the Quran that he knows about, the knowledge that he knows about, and also the uh, Sunnah that he knows about. Um, as for the grave, we know that in the Battle of Uhud, the Prophet ﷺ, he had some um, companions approaching the Messenger of Allah. Uh, too many people are dead. 70, we have few graves. He said, bury the three and the two together. So when they went to do that, now they said to themselves, who's going to have the privilege, the honor to be in the front? That means closer to the direction of the Qibla and the one who's going to be after him. So he went back to the Prophet of Allah. He said, Qaddimu akhtarahum Qur'ana. The one who knows about the Quran the most, then he's the one who's got the honor to be closer to the Qibla direction. So he's been honored also the knowledgeable person, even in the grave. As from the hereafter, the Prophet ﷺ, he said that it will be said to the person who knows about the Quran, which is a knowledge, recite and beautify your recitation, your recitation, just like the way they used to do it in the dunya. For verily your rank will be according to the last ayah that you used to recite. So this is, uh, as I said, a glimpse of what the knowledge does to the person. 